Lithium ion batteries forbidden for transport aboard passenger aircraft. Well, shoot, probably a good thing I'm not trying to fly somewhere to jumpstart a car. All right, let's open up this box and check out this Gulu jump starter. Here it is, the Gulu 4000A jump starter. Uh, Titan series. Ooh. All right, 4000 amps peak current, all gas, and uh, up to a 10 liter diesel. Well, that means it could start my truck. Let's see what we got here. Easy to jump. Let's see, connect vehicle battery, green light, start vehicle engine. Right, that seems pretty easy. We got eight smart safety protections. Mm -hmm. Overcharge protection, overcurrent protection, short circuit protection, reverse polarity protection, low temp protection, high temp protection. Over voltage protection and overload protection. And then we have some contact information. See, it looks like if you need to talk to them, emailing Fiona is the way to go. All right. Model number is the GP4000, capacity uh, 99.2. Starting current 800 amps for three seconds and then 500 amps for five seconds. Peak current 4000 amps. We got a type C 15 watt input and then an output is type C 15 watt and a quick charge five volt. And I'm all, well, we'll open it up and we'll take a good look at that. All right. All right, I've already cut that so we can get this thing out. Oh, look at that. It comes in its very own bag. All right, Gulu Jump Starter Power Bag. It's nice it comes in its own little carrying case. I have another one that you may have seen videos on, the Hulk Man, that does not come in its own case. This is uh, not the easiest thing to open one-handed, but there it is. All right. Here are charging cable. Charging brick. Here are our jumping cables. Here is our cigarette lighter, although uh, I guess they call it a, I don't know what they call it. it. looks like a cigarette lighter adapter to me, but I suppose that's some sort of power plug or power something accessory port power assess 12 volt accessory port maybe i don't know cigarette lighter to me all right here's what we came for Let's see if i can get it out of the case one-handed success and take it out of there i'm not going to need that caution fully charged before use okay so we will we will do that We go ahead and take that off of here because we are going to fully charge it. It's the Gulu GP4000 jump starter. We've got a power button. We've got some meters here that shows you how much charge you have. And then on the back, we've got a bunch of warnings. Don't attempt to use the device if it's inflated or overheated or it may cause an accident, i.e. explode. Don't disassemble a device or use it as a vehicle battery. Don't squeeze the device or throw it into fire or it will explode. Uh, don't overcharge the device and charge it in a well-ventilated area. Yeah, that's kind of weird. You would think it would just turn off on its own after it is charged 100%. Don't let the device in a state of over-discharge. Don't let the device in a state of over discharge and remember to charge the device regularly after use huh i think maybe there's a wrong word there or some something don't let the device in a state of over discharge okay i don't understand that i'll we'll look in the directions and maybe it's written differently there 
Don't connect the plus and the negative terminals of the battery clamps to the opposite poles or clip the two sides of the battery clamps together when pressing the boost button or it will cause an accident. Again, uh, there might mean an explosion or in this case, a lot of sparks. Don't jump start the vehicle if the indicator light is less than two bars. If the engine does not start within three seconds, stop starting and wait at least 30 seconds before attempting to restart the vehicle. Ooh, that's a problem. You know, for carbureted engines, that's, that's a problem. I mean, for fuel injected, it's not, but looks like we have a light or we have an in out uh, type C USB. And then we have a uh, five volt charger. And then we have a USB, it's like a USB three connector that uh, also does a uh, 12 volt. And somewhere we've got a, there it is. There's our plug for our cigarette lighter or accessory port. And we have on this, that's where our jumper cable goes. Okay. That looks familiar. All right, let's charge this thing up. Hopefully it charges pretty quick and then uh, we will try it out. Move this over here to my charging area. Also known as a table with some power on it. Plug the brick in, got the wire in. Now we are going to plug that into the USB-C port and as we can see this is uh, already charged to 75% and we just need to go the rest of the way. Uh, each one of these bars is 25% according to the directions. So uh, flashing means we're charging the final 25%. Well, it looks like when it's done charging, uh, the lights just turn off. I've been uh, keeping an eye on this thing now for, shoot, it's probably been an hour for it to go up that last 25%. But uh, anyways, let's try it out. Okay, this is my LS Swap 65C10 pickup, and it has a very dead battery. Uh, now, I did a video on this, so uh, I think uh, last week or a week before. Uh, and what I did then was I used my battery charger, put the battery charger on it and start it up. Now you can see this switch right here. Don't hear anything, that's the fuel pump. And this right here, that's our starter. And as you can see, nothing's happening. So let's get the old Gulu over here and see if we can make some magic. There's a port on the side. We're going to open that up and put our jumper cable in. We're going to hook our positive up and we're going to hook our negative up. We're on over here. We've got a flashing light over here that says correct. Oh, let's hit that boost button. All right. Let's see what happens. Hear the fuel pump. I'm trying to blow it up and something smoked. All right, we've got a flashing light. So apparently we tried uh, cranking it too much, which doesn't surprise me. Let me go ahead and uh, see if we can reset it. Mm, that doesn't work. Let me take it off. All right, well, it's angry at us. Time to go look at the directions. All right, so according to the directions, 
Looks like you can't try and start it more than four times uh, within a two-minute period, and I'm pretty sure if I go back to the camera footage, I'm going to find that I did ex exactly that. So that's probably what happened. But, uh, hey, I tried to start it, and that's a super dead battery. The uh, flashing lights. I was able to just reset that by just by disconnecting this. I disconnected this from here. No more flashing lights. So that uh, reset the uh, overstart protection. Let's try again. All right, our fuel pump is on. And let's see what happens. And she definitely is trying to run. Oh. Let's see what we've got. Um, everything looks fine. That looks good. We still have four bars for charge there. So, uh, huh. Let's try it again. That's one. <laughs> We're dead. <laughs> Let's see. Nope. What is going on here? That shows we've got a good connection. Let's. Ah, uh, we've got a really weak connection over here. Let's see what we can do here. All right, let's try that again. That positive terminal is just kind of nasty. All right, we're good. Nope. We got a flashing light. Let's hit the boost. That was a problem. I forgot to hit boost. Let's try that again. Okay, uh, note to self. This thing does actually move. Uh, apparently it's in gear. It's in reverse. Okay. Anywho, so call me impressed on its ability to uh, jumpstart a car. Next, let's uh, see how well it charges a phone. What we're gonna do is we're gonna plug into the, uh, I'm gonna plug into the blue one and then plug into my phone and we'll see how long it takes for it to go up a couple percent. I'm just going to use, I'm going to use the cable that came with it because it's the same. My phone's USB-C, so. All right, got you plugged in. So hard to do this crap one-handed. I apologize for the poor camera work on my part. All right, so it is not charging yet. And let's see here, we are at 82%, it is 621. Let's hit this on button. Okay, it's now charging. All right, I'm just going to let that sit, and uh, I'll come back to that in a little bit, and we'll see how far we've gotten. I'll, uh, 
Let's see, 621. I'll try and come back in about 10 minutes, and we'll see how far we've got. All right. As you, all right. So as you can see, it's been 10 minutes, and uh, it does say that we are... <laughs> it does say that we are fast charging, and it's going to be about 20 minutes until full. And as you can see, if that focuses, we're up to 88%. So... That's how well it charges. It charges pretty quick. Okay, so the Gulu 4000, it works really well. Um, I like it. It uh, Not only did it start my uh, C10 uh, with a, minor, a couple minor issues, but user-induced for sure. Uh, it also charged my phone really fast, so that's cool. Um, the flashlight uh, does work. I mean, I turned it on a couple times accidentally, so you, you should have caught that in the video. Uh, but overall, seems to be a pretty solid product couple things I really liked. A, it worked great. Uh, B, I love that it comes with a case. That's really nice. And there is one thing that I don't like. I don't like that it doesn't have like a, a real um, little screen with a uh, with a meter on it. Uh, the kind of four bar things is a little cheesy, but I mean, it works. And then the flashing lights, I mean, that works too, but they don't have the, they don't have the trouble codes on the side of the unit or on the bottom of the unit uh so uh if you don't have the owner's manual you don't know what uh, those codes are so it would have been nice if that was printed somewhere on it that would have been uh, helpful but otherwise it works great so the the, the issues i have with it are minor uh but it works great now uh i did do another jump starter video on the hulkman 2000 and so the next video I'm going to do with this Gulu is also going to include the Hulk man. And what we're going to do is we are going to, we're going to see how they both do trying to start the hearse. Now, the last time I just used the Hulk man and it had some issues. So we'll see whether or not the Hulk man can redeem itself against the uh, Gulu. Additionally, I have since tried the Hulk man with a couple other vehicles, uh, including my Le Mans and my, and my 89 Corvette that I'm putting new fuel injectors in. So it uh, had problems with this battery, had problems with my Le Mans battery, and had problems with the Hearst battery. So, so I'll be doing a comparison video of the two. So you're going to want to make sure that you subscribe so you know when it drops. Hope you enjoyed this look at the Gulu, and I'll see you guys down the road.